Today we're going to be talking about rolling the edge of your fretboard. Um, a lot of times uh, lower end guitars will have a fretboard that feels square and it's not very comfortable on the hand and it's kind of kind of annoying, right? Or if you're doing a kick guitar or your any neck, it doesn't really matter. So today I'm going to show you the right way to roll the edge of your fretboard and you'll see what I mean by the right way. So let's go ahead and get over to the bench and uh, we'll show you um, how we do it here. So as you can see, I got a old Harmony neck here and the edges hasn't been rolled yet. A lot of different ways you can do this. Using the snap file and the fret beveling file, I can file the frets and the wood at the same time. But I'm just going to show you with this old neck that I have that it doesn't really matter what method that you use as long as you just take your time and uh, do it right because if you take too much off it's hard to put back you know what I mean so just take your time with this so I'm going to be using a file like this one I'm going to be using a brand new razor blade we're going to be using something like this that I've seen that one guy use. So let's try all these methods. I don't recommend that one, but uh, we'll try it anyway. So first of all, we're just going to roll around the first fret. Now we're just kind of doing it real easy, and we're just kind of beveling those edges right and the reason why i'm doing this on a maple neck because you can see it a little bit better uh you know where i roll the fretboard over okay i don't know if you can see that but you can see right there it's nice and rolled over there's not a real crisp edge there it's just nice and rolled over looks pretty good right so my method is I take a file, which people lost their goon when I did this. They thought I was just rasping in the side of this thing. But actually, I'm doing the same exact thing as the uh, as the, um, the razor blade. So as you can see, they both are the same. There's no difference there. Um, now this... I don't know about, um, I'm just going to try it. I've never really screwed around with this before. Um, i just seen it. That guy had a big one. He had uh, a big file, like this, something like this. So let's see what we can accomplish. Okay. All right, so it does work, but it's not as consistent as the razor blade and the file. Um, it just, it's a lot bigger and it leaves a, a lot bigger marks and I don't like that. That's why I use this fine file. You can go after, after you do that, you can come here and dress it up a little bit. But, uh, as you can see, this is the razor blade, the file, and this is the big file in which you can get pretty consistent with all of them. So there's not a really... There's not really a right and wrong way to do this. Um, even Stumac, man, they use that big... Uh, I have a homemade thing right here. And, uh, you know, you can even round them like that. But I don't recommend that. Because when I play, I like to, uh, you know, when my hand goes around here, I like to feel it nice and rolled. See what I'm saying? I do the bottom more than the top because that's where my hand rolls around. Then after I'm done rolling the edges, I like to take a little piece of 1200 grit and just kind of touch those edges real lightly just to smooth it out to give it a natural feel. All right, sweet. Now you can check out what I've done here first the second and third and it's been rolled right three methods and they both turn out the same it's all about taking your time and not getting in a hurry 
as you can see, there's no right and wrong way to do it. Now, I'm pretty sure there's some wrong ways you could probably do it, but uh, the easiest way is with a razor blade or with a file. I know people lost their minds when I, when I, when I used the file on the guitar fetish build, but uh, whatever gets the job done, right? Um, when you're doing it, just take your time and breathe and don't get in a hurry. Find a method that works for you and just do it. That's what I do. Um, I use both the file and the razor blade. Just depends how I'm feeling that day. And um, that's just how it is. I alternate back and forth. So hope you guys enjoyed this little tip. And I'm Ronald Jr. And I'll see you guys next time.